Maybe, there it is. Yeah, I, I lathered that shit, guys. Oh, yeah. Right away. Oh, yeah. Right away. That, that spice you. Okay, quiz time, quiz time, quiz time, quiz time, quiz time. All right, so how this quiz is going to work. There are 12 questions. They have been prepared by Adam. Adam is hosting this quiz. I guarantee you, believe it or not, I don't care. I have not seen the quiz. I have not seen any of the questions. I am going into this completely blind. Before every two questions, I must do the next hottest hot test. So between... Question one, before question one, I'm doing this. Between two and three, I'm doing this. Between four and five, I'm doing this. And so on until we are between question 10 and 11. I have to do the hottest one. I have to do all of them regardless if I go perfect on the quiz. The punishment for getting a question wrong is I have to do a shot. I've got fireball here. I've also got Sambuca behind me. So I have to do the shots, but I do not get the question right. The, the hot sauce is just part of the game. The reward for doing this is nothing for content. There he is. Oh man, he put on a suit. We got Adam pouring himself a, a cold one. Uh, my cold one is chalky milk. Dis disclaimer for chat. I'm closing you. I'm sorry. Uh, I you're, you'll, I'll First hot sauce is sauce bay. Sauce Bay is uh, rounding out the earthy turmeric with a smack of sweet from the pineapple and a tang of white vinegar. This sauce will jumpstart your heat addiction. So this one, you feel a little bit. 2,500 Scoville units, you feel it a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit. So I've got a um, little burger cut up. I'm going to dip the burger in the sauce. And uh, I'll eat it. I was at Jacob's last week and I tried the first three and they were all spicy but manageable the third one was obviously the spiciest but I third thoroughly one. enjoyed the they were all good tasting even though they were spicy so that one was a little tangy first question what year did Drake <laughs> officially become the Toronto Raptors global ambassador wow this is an easy the, one the, no it's not easy um and this is the first one Obviously, what like the hell, said, man? Can... some of them have to be like, okay, well, we're doing shots. Okay, first one. Okay, um, so I don't really know the answer to this one. It was definitely near the start of the We the North era, so it's maybe it's either 2014 or 2013, in my opinion. It's not 2011. Okay, my thought process is Drake was really part of the We the North start but he didn't have the official title maybe until 2016. So I have three possible answers here. I think it's C or D. Not cheating. So theoretically, promise, you could be doing 12 cheating. shots tonight or zero shots tonight. Okay. So 2016, it could be because, you know, the era, the We The North era was happening and they brought him in to boost it. It could have happened to kind of expedite. You know what? I've always felt like adding in Drake as a global ambassador really helped progress the franchise, whether it was b because of his kind of him being there or not. I'm going to go with 2013. I'm going to go with my gut and go with 2013. I am going to lock, lock in, in 2013? D, 2013. Lock it in. I'm locking that in. Come on, baby. Yeah! Let's go! Let's Correct go. Correct answer. Good job. 2013, the first year that the uh, the NBA saw its first global ambassador in, in Drake. Question two. All right. So question number two, who has the most blocks in NBA, sorry, in Raptor history? Is it A, Chris Bosh, B, Amir Johnson, C, Jonas Valanciunas, D, Bismack Biombo? It's not Bismack Biombo. It's not Amir Johnson. Amir Johnson wasn't there long enough. Now there was Bismack Biombo. Chris Bosh, because he was there a long time, it could be him. Jonas was a center and he was there for a while. I'm so I'm, I'm in between Chris Bosch and JV. Chris Bosch was better. Chris Bosch a lot more athletic. So uh, Chris Bosch there for 2004 to 2010, I think. Or the, yeah, grad four left in 2010, I believe. JV got drafted in, traded in 2019. Drafted in, 
want to say 2011 or 2012. So similar time frames. I'm going to go with the better player. I'm going to lock in Chris Bosch. Okay, Chris Bosch locked in for A. Let's see if he got it. Correct answer, and obviously I have the numbers in or below. It's crazy. Amir Johnson had 480 yeah, you know blocks what? at this Amir time. Amir Johnson has a lot more than I thought he would. Next hot sauce. The next hot sauce is um, Heartbeat Hot Sauce, Pineapple Habanero, made with the help of Sleeping Giant Brewery, award-winning Beaver Duck Session IPA. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. This sauce has boldly pronounced fruitiness and a bright but savory vibe from start to finish. You know the you know the vibes. Bit down here, not too much. I dip the burger in down the hatch. This one, 12,500 skull units. I feel that. I feel, I feel the spice in that. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm very scared of the uh, like the hot sauce coming up. Who did the Raptors play in their first ever game? We got A, Boston Celtics, B, Orlando Magic, C, Chicago Bulls, or D, New Jersey Nets. And this was uh, submitted by First Last, so thank you, First Last. Good for question. Uh, the first game was at the Rogers Center, formerly known as Sky Dome. Uh, the Raptors won, and they played against the New Jersey Nets. Lock it in. Locked it in. Locked it in at D. Woo! No doubt. I knew that one. All right. No doubt. All knew right. that one. That's a good one. But I, I, that could get somebody. I just happen to know that. Not everybody would know that. Yeah. All right. Question number four. When the Raptors won the NBA championship in 2019, who wore the number 17 shirt? Was it A, Patrick McCaw, B, Jeremy Lin, C, Jordy, Meek, Jordy Meeks, or D, Jody Kyle Lowry? You spelled it wrong, but Jody, Jody Meeks. Meeks. Sorry. So Kyle Sorry. obviously wore seven. So Jeremy Lin, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, is, I don't think it's not Lowry, obviously. Um, Jeremy Lin wore seven in on his other teams, or at least some of them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that he wanted seven, but obviously Kyle Lowry's there. So I'm going to assume Jeremy Lin switched from seven to seventeen when he joined the Raptors because he got traded from the Hawks, or he got I don't know if he got waived and the Raptors picked him up. Jody Meeks, Hi. I'm I'm qu quite confident Jody Meeks doesn't fit seventeen. Like it just doesn't look right to me. Patrick McCaw, I feel like Patrick McCaw wore like twenty two or something like that. I'm going to lock in Jeremy Lin. I'm not going to go down not picking Jeremy Lin. I'm going to lock in B, Jeremy Lin. Woo! Jeremy Lin. The the uh, tiring. This is my favorite that I got. I love this one. And my family and, and uh, friends who've had it really like this one. Cilantro, basil, lemongrass, and ginger combined with zesty lime juice for an aromic base that is com completed by creeping Carolina Reaper heat. I think this reminds me of like a nice curry flavor. Uh, it's right there. It's the green one right there. No. No, 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 no. That's what killed the last time. We're not doing that again. So there you yeah, go. That it's got the green on it. Right. No, we're good. That one, I recommend, guys. You pick this one up. Um, This one's very tasty. But yeah, we got like with seconds. that one having been consumed, the bomb is next. I'm scared of the bomb. Yes. I'm, I'm actually Do you like, think the I'm bomb nervous. could alter your nervous. brain chemistry and... Make um, you get around I think I think it, it could cause me to forget maybe a little thing like with the question so far I would have gotten them regardless I'm worried just for my my safety as a human being so question so five we got is question number five next who was the first Canadian to play for the Toronto Raptors was it a Jamal McGlory B Corey Joseph C Leo Routens D Todd ah uh, I don't know I don't know I genuinely don't know <laughs> It's not Leo Routens. Leo Routens didn't play for the Raptors. Corey Joseph is Canadian and played for the Raptors. But was he the first? I, I've heard of Jamal Maguire, however you pronounce that. I'm going to assume they're all Canadian. I'm going to assume they're all Canadian. I don't think you would pick somebody who's American and played for the Raptors. I think you're just going to pick four Canadians. I have heard of Jamal Magloir. Don't know the answer, so I'm gonna go with Jamal just for that reason. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna lock in A just because it's the only name I recognize that I know it's, it's, I know it's not Leo Rounds. And, I, and I, I, I find it hard to believe it's Corey Joseph. Let's see how it goes. Oh, yes! Yes! Uh, I pulled that one up, but uh, good job. Good, 
Good elimination. Of I worked it out. I worked it out. I worked it you out. Gave yourself a 55th. Uh, which player never played in an all star game while with the Raptors? Is it A, Antonio Davis, B, Chris Bosch, C, Vince Carter, D, Tracy McGrady? Vince Carter 100% did. Chris Bosch 100% did. Uh, to my knowledge, Antonio Davis. Well, on, on the surface, I would have expected Antonio Davis not to have played in an all star game. However, Tracy McGrady was very young and was not very good until he left the Raptors. There's no way he was an all-star with the Raptors. I, I'm going to go quick here. I'm going to lock in D, Tracy McGrady. I'm going to lock in Tracy McGrady here. All right. D locked in Tracy McGrady. Let's go. Halfway done. I am, I am genuinely terrified of this thing. I am genuinely terrified of this thing, guys. I'm much more prepared this time. I, I'm genuinely scared. I have vanilla ice cream. I have meat to kind of soak it in. Ingredients. Here we go. Da bomb. So this sauce is made to hurt. Every other sauce is made to taste good. This is made to be painful. Like that's that's probably fine. I'll get the next drop out. That's fine. I'm not doing any more than that. Come on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not wiping it. Like, that's as much you're going to get. 6969 sub special coming soon on stream, guys. We're going to do a hot... By the way, if you don't know, we're doing a hot tub stream. But yeah. Okay. Here we go, guys. Okay. It, uh, it it's an overwhelming. Oh my god! It's overwhelming in my mouth. Ah. Um. <sighs> Rise. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's a show. We gotta go to the next question. It's part of the show. Question seven. Follow, fire away. Okay, what is OG Ananobi's birth name? Part of my pronunciation of these names. Uh, Ogu Ogu Ananobi, <sighs> Othello Ananobi, Otano Ananobi, or Ogush it's, Ogalisha it's, I know, it, it, it's Ananobi. A. I know it's, I know it's A. I know it's, I know his real name. It's A. All right. A rapid firing. Wait. You final answer A. No, no, no. I'm going to be okay. I'm worried when it hits my stomach. I'm not going to be okay. It's fucking hot. It's fucking hot. I think I'll be I think I'll be okay this time. I know his name's A. I know it's A. I'm gonna lock in A because I'm not gonna lose on that. Alright. Final answer is A. Alright. Woo! Seven for seven. Should have made these yes, harder. Sir. Shaq is the second heaviest NBA player. Uh, but the heaviest played for the Raptors. Who is uh, A, Chuck Hayes, B Mankey Batir, C Oliver Miller. D. Glenn Davis. I've never heard of Oliver Miller and Menke Batir. Chuck Hayes was a big dude. I uh, was Chuck Hayes heavier than Shaq. Man, my tongue hurts so much. I don't think Big Baby played for the Raptors. I could be wrong, but I really don't think Big Baby played for the Raptors. I've never heard of B or C. Chat probably. I'm. Chat might know that I. I love. Air, I love Chuck Hayes. I don't think they do though, so it may not be quite the hit. I only know one for sure played for the Raptors. So I am still going to say Chuck Hayes because he was a big dude. And yo, what? there's no way he weighed more than Shaq. I, 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 I truthfully don't know the answer. I'm going to go with Chuck Hayes okay. just because I know he played for the Raptors. And if it, I don't want to be wrong because I didn't pick that. I'll be wrong okay. because I picked Chuck Hayes. Okay, so you're, in a. you're locking in A. All right. Jared ah, locks in A as his final fuck. answer. Correct answer is C. Oliver Miller. Uh, I highly suggest you look up Oliver a picture Miller? of him. Oh. Highly suggest you look up a picture of him. He weighed 275 pounds or 170 kg. He was a big dude, bro. So I was on the right. Wow. Oh, my man's big. My man's <laughs> yeah. big. I, I didn't know that. So I'm drinking out of my New York Giants shot glass because you have to be a fucking alcoholic to watch that team play football every Sunday. <laughs> 
Yeah. All right, there's number one for the shot counter and the hatch. <laughs> ah! Hot sauce number five. I have not fully recovered from the bomb yet. The bomb is still lingering on my tongue. Oh, by Detroit. The habaneros are fire roasted and accompanied with by smoked ghost chili powder for additional earthiness and sting. Apple cider vinegar and lime juice add acidity to a bold sauce. Lovely jubbly. We'll keep that far away from the bomb. <laughs> Pouring. Nice little. I'm really getting in on this one, guys. There you go. It's on there. Okay, here we go. I didn't get enough on that. I'm going for seconds, boys. <laughs> okay. Okay. I feel it in my throat, not on my tongue. Just like last time, I feel okay after eating that. The aftermath destroyed me. The aftermath destroyed me. That's the problem. I'm worried about the aftermath. Next question. It's far away. Next question. All right. Hey, <clears throat> question nine. What team have the Toronto Rap Raptors never played in the postseason? Mm. Is it A, Orlando Magic, B, Chicago Bulls, C, New York Knicks, D, Detroit Pistons? Obviously, they played Orlando. They did in 2019. I believe they beat the Knicks in 2000 or 2001. Which would mean they have played them. I want to say because the Bulls in the We the North era never played the Raptors. When the Raptors were good in the early 2000s, the Bulls were not. Therefore, would not be in the playoffs. The Pistons were good in that era in the early 2000s. So I'm feeling like they collided there. Because we definitely didn't play the Bulls in the last decade. B, the Chicago Bulls. Lock in B, Chicago Bulls. Okay. Question number 10. Who scored the final field goal for the Raptors in their championship winning game? Winning game? Is it A, Kyle Lowry, B, Pascal Siakam, C, Kawhi Leonard, D, Serge Ibaka? So I know the answer, but I'm going to elaborate just for the sake of it. So final points scored in the championship game were Kawhi Leonard free throws after Draymond Green called a timeout. And the words did not have timeout because the technical Kawhi Leonard hit the free throws. Wait, no, that's that's a lie. Kawhi Leonard got an inbound and got fouled. But nonetheless, Kawhi Leonard hit free throws. Final field goal was Pascal Siakam saucing Draymond Green on the inside for the championship clinching basket. You're locking, locking in, in Pascal Siakam. B Pascal Siakam B. lock it in. Final answer. Woo! <laughs> I have never had this sauce before. I did not get to it in the last stream because I just my body simply could not handle it. I feel okay. I don't know what to expect from this one. Take a look. It's got like these chili chunks in it. Steve-O looking good on the front. So according to the Amazon reviews, this hot sauce is getting good reviews for taste. It smells like shit. But I... I have to do it. I don't know what it's going to be like. I, I genuinely don't know what to, what to think here. You guys are lucky I'm doing that that much. Maybe, there it is. Yeah, I, I lathered that shit, guys. Oh, yeah. Right away. Oh, yeah. Right away. That, that spicy. That one's like the bomb. It's not bad, but that hits you right away. Like within a second, that hit me. <laughs> My stomach's hurting now. Wow. Oh, 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 <clears throat> so, wow. Wow, holy shit. That second wave hit like COVID, man. Oh my God. Wow, that was afterburn. Oh, he's double downing. All right, we got question number 11 coming up. Oh, fuck. Um, 
Uh, who was the only Raptor to play all 82 games during the 2017-2018 season? Is it A, Kyle Lowry, fuck. B, DeMar DeRozan, C, Jakob Pertl, D, Norman Powell? All right, Kyle okay. Lowry f- had, to get, it had to have been injured at some point. DeMar DeRozan, I feel like didn't. I feel like didn't, but he could have. Jakob Pertl, in my mind, is a very injury-free type of player. I am going to go off of the lo- that logic... And the fact that I consider Pirtle to have been pretty injury-free in his time with the Raptors. Even though he's a bench guy, I am going to go with that theory. Lock and see Jakob Pirtle. Okay, you're locking and see Jakob Pirtle. Let's see what the answer is. Ooh, yes! Got it. Big Got it. play, big play. Question number 12. Which Raptor won the most Player of the Month honors with their time in Toronto? Was it A, this, DeMar DeRozan, B, Chris Posh? C, Kyle Lowry, D, Vince Carter. So hot sauce, I'm good. It was bad, but I did too much last time. I'm okay. But that was a good amount. That's good. That's good to know that I can handle the hot sauces. Okay, so Lowry, there's no way. Because Lowry's just consistent. He's never going to have a blow away month. DeRozan could have. I don't think it was Chris Bosh. I'm leaning, I'm in between DeMar and Vince Carter. But Vince Carter was like box office. And popularity gets votes. Don't really know how Player of the Month honors work. And I don't really know. I mean, people don't give a shit about them. So I don't really, I don't have an answer. I'll, I'm going to go with Vince Carter. Just he's the most popular player on this list. I'm going to go with Vince Carter. Okay. All right. So you're fine. Lock in, D, lock Vince, in Carter. D, Vince Carter. <laughs> you got me. The correct answer was DeMar DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan had three player of the or, Player of the Month honors at Toronto. Chris Bosh had two. Lowry won. And Vince Carter actually had zero at his time in Toronto, but he had three uh, at his time elsewhere. Green is some more questions. Oh. <laughs> there you go. If you're watching, make sure to uh, give a like, support Adam, support me. And uh, we do stream content pretty much every single day. All right. Fireball for you guys. Like for Fireball. <laughs> actually, this is for YouTube viewers. The next shot is for you guys. Oh! <laughs> Woo! <laughs>